you have any weapons in the vehicle? I ain't got no weapons. Join us on our YouTube channel, U.S. Corrupt Cops, to explore the dramatic stories of corrupt cops realizing they've destroyed their careers. Through authentic and vivid videos, we present real-life cases proving that unethical behavior leads to serious consequences. Subscribe, like, and share the videos to spread this important message with everyone around you. Let's support justice and create a fair community together. A uh, guy flashing these lights warning everybody you're sitting there. I'm going after him. And I could take you to jail today for your unsigned registration card, but I just wrote you a citation for that. That's actually up to six months in jail. <laughs> you think it's funny, sir? I'll take the ticket, sir. I know, but do you think this I'll is funny? This, I, I'm about to laugh. I could laugh all along. Okay. Go ahead and step out here for me. I didn't do anything. Sir, I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle. Am I being detained? Yes, sir, you are. Step out of the vehicle. Are you serious? Place your hands behind your back for me. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Place your hands behind your back for oh, me. Oh, man, you're serious, brother. I'm not your brother. In a recent video, I discussed the intriguing question of whether there's a constitutionally protected right to flash your car lights to warn oncoming traffic about an approaching speed trap. What's fascinating is that this situation happened again right here in West Virginia. The exclusive footage you're about to watch showcases what I believe to be the worst case of these incidences on YouTube. I am personally disgusted by the actions of the deputy from the Nicholas County, West Virginia Sheriff's Department that you're about to witness. As you watch the footage, take note of the constitutional violations. We'll count them together, and then at the end of the video, we'll compare our observations and engage in a discussion about them. That guy flashing these lights warning everybody you're sitting there. I'm going after him. <laughs> All right. That was pretty stupid, wasn't it? What's that? Flashing your lights at everybody to let them know that law enforcement was sitting there running radar. Is that what I did? Is that a crime? Yeah. It is? I didn't know yeah. that. You got your license registration proof yeah, okay. Why would you do that? You're flashing your high beams at people to... In the daytime? Yeah. I didn't know that was a crime. It doesn't say daytime or nighttime, it just says that you can't do it, and you did it. What's that? The insurance, I didn't bring it up on my phone. I don't think I got the actual card yet, but I'm just saying. The insurance, because I got insurance. I switched from all state to state. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was a problem. I didn't know that was yeah, you can't high beam people I, at any time in the daytime or nighttime. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know. I mean, I, yeah, nighttime I understand, but daytime I don't know. Um, I'm sure I could articulate some other kind of driving charge in there for doing that too. Well, that's. I mean, that's pretty crappy. Yeah, I apologize. Just uh, you can hang tight, listen yeah, to what he says. And... Hey, 
here, he got the right one pulled up now. He has two pilots the same year. The first one they he pulled up. They were almost identical VIN because they were the same fucking car, you know what I mean? Same year. Yeah. But that's the right one. I verified the VIN. This ain't the right one. Said it was just issued in April. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was looking at this. <laughs> no worries. It was covered up by the license, and that's all I've seen. All right, so there's your stuff back there. And I read you two citations today. First one being special restrictions on lamps, uh, which you can read that code, and it says no flashing lights shall be on a vehicle and at that point in time you had flashing lights on your vehicle it's unauthorized well, under uh, the constitution it's, a, it's protected in the first amendment but i'm going to look into it that's in tennessee yeah i'm going to look into it yeah. see about West Virginia. yeah um, free speech you know? yeah it's not illegal to do that to flash and warn but it's legal to high beam and it is legal to have flashing lights on your vehicle uh, not being an emergency vehicle. I'll see. Huh? I said I'll see. Okay. And I could take you to jail today for your unsigned registration card, but I just wrote you a citation for that. That's actually up to six months in jail. <laughs> you think it's funny, sir? I'll take the ticket, sir. I know, but do you think this I'll is funny? This. I, I'm allowed to laugh. I can laugh all along. Okay. Right. Go ahead and step out here for me. Oh, I didn't do anything. Sir, I'm asking you to step out of the... Am I being detained? Yes, sir, you are. Step out of the vehicle. Are you serious? Place your hands behind your back for me. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Place your hands behind your back for oh, me. Oh, man, you're serious, brother. I'm not your brother. Believe me, you're not. Yeah, I'll never be your brother. I'll never be your brother. Exactly. You'll never be my brother. Just be careful. I don't want to be your brother. No. Don't jerk away from me. Don't jerk away from me, sir. Just be careful. Don't jerk away from me. My, my wallet is in the car. Okay, I don't want you to jerk away from me right there. I was going away from the traffic. No, I was putting you in front of my car. Okay. Which is away from traffic. You're, you're arresting me for laughing. No. I didn't do anything. I'm arresting you for unsigned registration. Okay, all right. That's fine. Okay, That's so stand right there. Do you have any weapons in the I vehicle? Have no weapons. No. I, I okay. Hang tight in front of my vehicle for me. Hang tight right here in front of my vehicle for me. I guess I'll see you in court. All right, ticket still stands there. Special restrictions on lamps. Unsigned registration card. I gave you till the 23rd of this month to contact the magistrate. Phone number's on your copy there. Once you contact them, they can tell you how to take care of it. Okay. All righty, sir. Be safe. In a shocking incident, Corporal J.D. Ellison of the Nicholas County Sheriff's Department displayed disgraceful behavior. However, what's even more disappointing is the aftermath of the incident. Ellison unfairly fined a man for two alleged offenses, both of which lack credibility. Firstly, he charged the man of having an unsigned registration card, a charge that holds no validity in West Virginia anymore. Secondly, the allegation regarding special restrictions on lamps was entirely baseless. It seemed to be a calculated attempt to silence someone who dared to voice their opinions about government inefficiency and tyranny. Believe it or not, the man, named William, had to defend himself in court in Summersville, West Virginia, against a prosecuting attorney from Nicholas County. The case was overseen by Magistrate Michael Hanks, 
Remarkably, Magistrate Hanks convicted William of the charge related to special restrictions on lamps. The ridiculous accusation about the unsigned registration card was rightfully dismissed. What makes this situation even more alarming is the violation of fundamental rights. Ellison not only lacked reasonable grounds to detain William, but also resorted to unnecessary force. Handcuffing an individual and detaining them without a valid reason is a clear violation of their Fourth Amendment rights. In this case, it appears that the police officer misused his authority, disregarding both law and the rights of the citizens he's supposed to protect. Get involved in the fight against corruption and violence by subscribing, liking, and sharing the video from our YouTube channel, US Corrupt Cops. Together, let's make the voice of justice stronger and support those who are oppressed. Take action today to create a positive change in our community.